Hey folks, Levi here once again. Hope you enjoyed my review of the Crow City of Angels. That is on my review right now if you want to check that out. And my review of the Phantom for today, so stay tuned for today. I'm doing the last review for today. As you all know, um, hey, my name is Levi. Welcome to my channel. If any of you are new to my channel, my name is Levi McNally. And I uh, hope you guys are doing out good out there. Uh, hope you're doing well. Doing well. And uh, if nobody's been watching my channel, if you've been watching, just let you know what's going on on my channel. I've been doing a superhero marathon on my YouTube channel, and I've been reviewing the movie, the superhero movie, the 90s era of superhero movies, the 1990 superhero films, films that came out in the 90s, superhero movies. Now, I did not review Judge Dredd with Stallone, and that's a comic book film, but I'm waiting to do a Stallone marathon one day. That's why I'm holding off on that. I know I did a, a movie called Samaritan, I think, come out last year, or 2022. Well, I'm going to wait for that when I do the Stallone Marathon. Just wanted to bring that up a quick But, again, for these 90s, there superhero movies. It's 1990 to 1999. And now we're in the year of 1997. Now, I will admit, I do like Batman and Robin. It's bad, but I can have fun with it. I reviewed that movie. It's on my Batman reviews. It's going to be on this list, too. Probably tonight sometime. I'll put it on my list. But I like Batman and Robin. For what it is, I can have fun with it. I like Marvel as Mr. Freeze. I even don't mind George Clooney as Batman, yes. I like the Lucy Stover Stone as a Batgirl, but that's just me. I like Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. I like, I don't like Bane in the movie, but I like his design. At least that movie had better special effects than this. But the, the next three, these three movies of 1997, I hate. <laughs> I'll probably word of hating. I see, I hate, I hate this movie. This is the sequel that came out in 1997, and that is Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. <laughs> this movie sucked. Bottom one, I thought it sucked. This was terrible. This is one I hated, hated, in the words of the late Roger Ebert, late from critic Roger Ebert, I hated, hated, hated this movie. This was terrible. God, I'm freaking just... Yeah. I know, it's like I'm having a little temper tantrum like a child, but this movie just sucked. Anyway, this is the second installment in the Power Rangers franchise film series, Epic Morty Murphy Power Rangers the movie. I guess this film was rushed. That's what I'm guessing. Because that film probably made good money, so they were, per you know, I think they made a new Power Rangers show, Turbo, I'm guessing, the reading title for this movie. Probably because that, that film, Money Morphy Power Rangers the movie, was so successful. Say what you will about it, at least it probably made money at the box office. Probably made more money in the movie than this. This movie really didn't make a dime. Didn't make much money, I don't think. They probably rushed it. Oh, and you give them cars. For the new swords. Yeah. Let's get into the production of it. The costumes for Adler and Miller and the and Adler were built by the Chuddle Brothers. I'm oh, sorry, but these makeup effects in this movie are terrible. The designs and the look of the characters. As opposed to the CGI Megasword used in the first Power Rangers film, this series really uses a practical costume, costume for the Turbo Megasword. This television series has been instead of relying on carnage footage. Between production of the film and television series, Hilly Shepard Turner Hook le left and changed to replaced by Carol Hood as Diva Tox. Shepard resumed the role in the 26th episode, continuing through Power Rangers in space. For the cast, you have Johnny Young Bosch as Adam Park, the Green Turbo Ranger. Again, I'm not a big Power Ranger fan. That's just me. He was the second Black Mighty Power Ranger and Green Zero Ranger. He pilots the Desert Thunder Torzo. Nigel Poza as Tanya. I don't know from Africa and formerly the Yellow Zero Ranger. She pilots the Dune, the Dune Star, to her sword. Steve Corbis as Rocky Dentos, and Marshall Otis, and formerly the second Red Ranger, and the Blue Zero Ranger. And Tom, and Jason Davis Frank as Tommy Oliver, Red Ranger, who originally was the Green Ranger, I believe, and the White Ranger, and then became the Red. He pilots the Red Lightning, Toto Zero. Austin St. John as Jason Scott Lee, Jason Lee Scott, who was the the first Red Ranger? Catherine Sutherland as Catherine Kate Hillard, 
Pink Toe Forever. She's terrible. Put in a strong teenager. Is this actress Australian? No, yeah, she is. I just do not like her. <laughs> Can't stand her. Jason Harvey as Eugene Skull. Skull and Bolt, played by Jason Harvey and Ball Show. Those characters in here. Hillary Shepard Turner as Steve Tox. I cannot stand her. Don't know if I've seen any of the movies. Don't really care to. Amy Jo Johnson as Kimberly Hart, who was the first Pink Mighty Power Ranger. Blake Foster as Justin Stewart. Blake Rose. Oh, a, a kid, you know. Get a year kid as a Power Ranger. He pilots the Mountain Blast to her. Initially, Greg Paul was as well as Lieutenant German Stone for Power Ranger Zero. Richard Glennell was as well as Ernie, the Angel Group, Jim, and Joe's as his owner. Winston Richard plays Zordon, a dimensional blizzard and the Ranger's mentor, but Bob Man is voice in the character. And Donnie Kissler plays Alpha Five Aurora from from Eden and Zordon's assistant, with Richard Wood voicing Alpha Five. Dave Fox's henchman includes Lion, also voices Rogue. One of Dave Fox's henchmen, I can't say the name of these characters, right? Danny went to betray physically betrays Ilgar. Alright, that's the cast of the movie. The film was directed by David Winning and Show Sh Clothing. Um, okay, well, thankfully he doesn't, I don't think he directs much anymore. 2014, he directed something less from Mean World, but this guy also worked on Friday the 13th, the series. I'm trying to see anything out here. But thankfully, he doesn't direct much movies anymore, thank goodness, because, again, you, you know, David Wang, you're a shitty director, and so are you, Shuck of Le Levy, whatever your name is. Yeah, he, he directed a couple things in the 90s, but is it Power Rangers Turbo? I guess he worked on a TV show. Yeah. It's written by Shuck Levy by Shelley Dennison. It's produced by Jonathan Tokso. Can't say his name right. Sorry. He's worked, he's worked on other Power Ranger stuff, shows. Cinematographs by Ian Roseberry. It's edited by Henry Richardson, BJ B. B. R. Sears. The music is by Shoki Libby. Oh, no, it's only is one of the directors of the movie and the script, but he, he does the music. And <laughs> the music sucks in this film. It was released March 28th, 1997. It's not that much long. The box office made nine point six million dollars worldwide. It takes place after the events of Power of the Rangers. The new cast and from the film become cast members of the new success series Power Rangers Turbo. With the film's events leading into the successor series, as with the television season, the film used costumes from the Japanese Super Samurai series Jogosus and Konar. The sets and costumes created for the original characters in the film were later used in the television series. With the film's anti metal girl being reused for the evil dark specter and acceptance Power Rangers. In space season. The film was released on March 28th to my favorite. It was criticized for visual effects, campaigns, but critics praised the performances of his cast, which I disagree with. I thought the cast was horrible too. The film was on Blazers on July 8th, 1997. The Shot Factor is going to re release the movie and confirm the third Power Ranger movie will be released for the first time on Blu And it was released on July 8th. I ain't buying it. This, this movie, yeah, after I'm done, I'm getting rid of this movie. I'm going to put it in the box over there so I can get rid of it one day. <laughs> Give it to Google or something. This ain't going in my movie collection. Yeah. Oh, Blake Foster, the kid in the movie. Who plays Justin. Let me see that again. Oh yeah, he was going to get nominated for best performance in feature film. Like, why? He didn't deserve it. He deserves a rat. He deserved a rat scene. Everybody that worked on this movie did a terrible job. But anyway, the plot of the Trevor Power Rangers movie is that 
The TV viewer returned for a sequel was facing a villainous and detox. She wants to detox is this woman, evil woman, that wants to awaken this evil god, this evil demon named Melagor, whatever, so she can marry him, so they can take over the world, blah, 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 and so that the rangers have to save her. One with their new ranger, the kid Justin, he becomes the new blue ranger, because his brother Rocky does something stupid, and so he becomes the new blue ranger, they use their cars, and so the rangers have to take on the Vitoff Stopper, and they have to defeat Mugglu, this evil demon monster, they have to defeat him and save the day. Yeah, and save the world pretty much because you know together Divitas and this monster they get married they can call it, they can take over the world basically or conquer the world blah 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 whatever that's the plot for you yeah this is going to be a rant as you can tell already So, <coughs> oh, this movie is making me sick. But yeah, Thor Power Rangers movie. So, again, yeah, look at these suits. These suits, I think, are lame. Yeah, yeah, it does look practical. I'll admit that. Still doesn't make it good. Good. This is the Zordon they turn to at the end of the movie. Pretty much opens on a distant pl planet called Lori. It was her name. Lo Orchid, whatever his name is. Okay, you know what? This thing looks terrible. Like, if you see how Master Yoda looks in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, turns you, look how amazing that looks. And then you look at this creature. The, the words of our first name from Burger is one ugly motherfucking creature wizard. <laughs> it's ugly. But ugly, this one called the wizard, you know. But ugly wizard basically opens up a him on this planet. Fleeing from his life from unseen enemies that are working for him. Levy talks, but he's a wizard, so he uses his magic to get away. Like, well, what was the point of this point of chase? Why couldn't he just get away before? Anyway, he gets away, he teleports away from them to Earth, and then you see in the city of Angel Crow, the Rangers, Tommy, Adam, and Rocky are training for an open martial artist for a charity tournament. But Rocky is, you know, not, not, not Rocky Balboa, heck no, not Stallone. You know, Stallone, I'm a power ranger. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Adrian, look at me. You're Adrian. I got it. I'm a power ranger. I got an imitate song. Honestly, the Rocky films would be a lot better. Rocky Five would be more entertaining than this. <laughs> yeah, better movie. Anyway, Rocky, you know, he does this kick. He tries to do this kick, and somehow, magically doing this kick, he whoa, throws his own entire body out of the ring. Oh, oh my back! And he gets sent to the hospital. Zordon and Alpha 5 learn about and the way the command center looks terrible even Zordon looks like shit because Zordon looks like a bobbling head and really bad CGI I mean he looked amazing I will say this say what you will but the special effects in the 1995 movie looks spectacular compared to this even the Ivan Ooze is over the top and he's silly and I have fun with Ivan Ooze Paul Freeman I thought did a good job David Talks is a terrible film the first time we should see her I can't stand her voice I hate her voice she spends most of the entire movie Telling goofy, campy jokes, being goofy over the top of the like, morons! You know, or just, you know, making weird laughs, or just being annoying as hell. You know, she's trying to get her hands on the, this ugly wizard. He gets taken to the hospital, and pretty much like the story has found out, you know, what Diva Talk is up to. She, you know, gets the evil demon to awaken. And his mother, you know, so he calls the Rangers. Justin goes to the hospital, sees his brother, but his, you know, Rocky just passed out, so he hides under there and he listens to them. And he hears them, you know, talking to Zordon, and then they speed away, teleport to the command center. And Justin, you know, he Rocky says, Justin, did you hear that? He's like, You guys are the Power Rangers? Yeah, oh, Catherine and Tanya, these two actors are terrible. They're saying, Robo, Bo, you, Bo, you, Bo, the kids. I can't stand their voices either. I can't stand them. But, 
Anyway, so little butt ugly, butt ugly, or butt ugly fuck ends up going to the butt ugly wizard. Excuse me, but goes to Earth. He lands in, and you know, and these again the effects, the makeup looks just horrible in this movie, especially in this wizard. You know, he ends up in a bird's nest. The birds look at him, he's like, oh, and they sit at him, and then you know. But as we thought he was, oh, no. yeah. he doesn't break his neck and die. That would have been made it a better movie. But anyway, he drives the plot of the movie, so he doesn't die. So he comes across the lion, and as long as I can tell him, he's just a magic on the lion. Then all these literally monkeys show up, and the monkeys just take them with them, go for a walk. Maybe they're going to have an orgy or something, and the, he's going to have an orgy with the monkeys in the woods. I don't know. I was expecting, you know. You know, like in Ace and Sherman, she calls, you know, is the lion sleeps tonight gonna play? You know, are they gonna go all have an animal, an orgy in the woods or something, in the jungle? You know. Hmm. But. Anyway, they have to go to the island to see where he's at to go, to go transport themselves to the jungle. That is Tommy and Catherine. Yeah, the Pink Ranger. Yeah, they go to this. They walk. They have like a tracking device to track him. Then she gets this anaconda snake, this giant snake, python, whatever. Tommy fights the python and she ends up on the phone over the cliff. She falls on the water, but she's like, transport. Oh, by the way, you really never see the Power Rangers in this movie. It takes maybe an hour for them to morph. But she lands in the water, and John, Tommy jumps in there, she, you know, in the car, but Tommy saves her, she breaks her leg. They finally find, you know, Bud Ugly and his monkey lovers, and they and they come and say, Jordan, you know, my name is Tommy, this is Captain, we're friends, we're Power Rangers, we're here to help you. And he, like, saves her leg, he heals her leg, and someone, Bud Ugly looks up, he looks up into the sky, Wizard looks up into this country and passes out and says, We gotta get him home. And he's freaked out. And you find out that David Cox has his family and it's messing with him psychically. And she makes a deal with Zordon and the Rangers to bring him back. And she also captures Jason and the, the, the original Red Ranger and the original Pink Ranger, Amy, which they're just not using here. They're basically just. Yeah. Oh, we have Stork and Bulk in here too. They, there's a scene where they're like cops or security guards talking to their boss. Talking to their, sorry, boss or whatever. And they spill mustard in his face. Not funny. They're driving mustard on that to go do a job or whatever. But Divitas kidnaps them somewhat. Thanks to her genius, but then she, they're, they're idiots, but she brings them down to the level of being buffoons. And they're annoying and they're talking the language which is irritating. So she ends up kidnapping, finding, you know, because she's got her submarine, so she sees, you know, Kimberly, and she even, you know, she sees Kimberly and Jason, even though the Rangers know about it, and they know they go save their friends. And she's going to use them as a sacrifice for Melior. But the Rangers, you know, said, well, we got to help him, it's his family. Adam says, and they go, and they said, no, don't go. Why would they bring him in the first place? Oh, it's his family, and like, no reason to bring him in the first place, really stupid. But I come up with some kind of a plan, like a hologram. Alpha 5 is somewhat of a genius, and he can't, Zordon, on, and him, I don't know, make a hologram, and then, you know, it's morphing time, and then fight them while they're on the beach. Just, you know... Just do your morphing, you know, say, we got him right here, and you got him on the beach. Say, they're up on a cliff. And by the way, the butt ugly wizard just walks away, 
Y le dice, güey, ¿qué es lo que puedo encontrar más? Y dice, eso. Sí, ya, es para ellos. Ya. Güey, es porque va a ir a They kidnap him. And they tell me to go and then tell me to jump in the water, but of course it's fake. Like, you guys stupid. You know, and then Tommy's like, well, it's a, it's a fake. And I was like, no, it's not worth it. I actually got shit. Why would you think they're in there, Tommy? Are you that stupid? You guys are not that smart, for teenagers at least. Can you be smart enough to think, well, maybe she's using them for a reason. She wants to play in this guy. Maybe she needs a sacrifice. So let's make she kidnap them. So, you know, it's just a trap. They put them in his holding cell next to Vulcan Skulk and Vulcan Skulk are talking stupid language like Vulcan Skulk. Who's Vulcan Skulk in there? Acting weird, you know. They gotta go through the, basically, okay, here's what happened to the Rangers end up getting the, these cores, well, cores, which might look cool, but, they're alright, okay, I didn't mind the cores, they, and they finally morph, an hour in, they finally morph, say, okay, let's go do this, but they're gonna leave the car that Tommy drives, the mountain, the mountain Jordan, whatever you wanna call it. Well, they chant, they they morph, and then next thing, next thing you know, they immediately take their shoes off, and they're in their normal suits. So they're just themselves. They're out of their suits. Like, what was the whole point of morphing? Seeing them the first time morphing, then take them out of it. Okay. Then we get a new Blue Ranger. We know it's Justin. The film hides it, saying, "You are the Blue Ranger, so it's that easy, huh?" Super Power Ranger. And so, why would you be so stupid, like eight year old kid, eight year old or seven year old, however old Justin is, to be a Power Ranger? It's not unrealistic. It's stupid. Yeah. And you see him get his mask, and I'm like, why are we trying to hide it? We already know it's him. You know, come on, directors, writers. You trying, You think we're really that stupid not to know it's actually him? Who would you think it'd be? Santa Claus? <laughs> As a Power Ranger? No. But they go, they drive these things cool, but, and, then, and guess what? They get a boat, a ship. And all of a sudden, they gotta, to get going, they gotta get their keys, their morphing keys, to get this ship going. And Justin shows up, hey guys, I'm the new Blue Ranger, awesome! And it's like, okay, now the little eight year old kid is in charge, okay. So they go on the boat. And this boat rides, and then with Diva talks, you know, her over top voice, she's just seen where she, you know, she eats a fly, like a frog, and it's disgusting. And it's just more goofy dialogue from her. At the whole movie, she's just saying goofy, stupid dialogue, I can't stand her, I hate her voice. I just wanted to, I just wanted to grab her tongue and cut it out. I'm just kidding. I know this. Okay, that's disgusting. Well, yeah, I just want to punch her in the face to shut her up. The most annoying Power Rangers villain ever. That's over the top. Sorry, that was fine. So I can't talk about. You know what? I'm not. Yeah. Duct tape. You know. Anyway, they go through the passage. This. This, this, this Nemesis Trial passage, and the CGI is awful. <laughs> but she makes Zordon, she makes the, the ugly wizard do it by threatening his family, and they look ugly too. You know, like the worst of make, makeup effects I've ever seen. And the thing is, her henchmen, you know, horrible makeup face too, and yeah, just terrible makeup in this movie. Yeah. But she, you know. But Wizard uses his magic to get through the number. Yeah, the Power Rangers have to use the key. Justin drops his key. He gets thrown into a lot of like, Oh, I got my key. And he reaches in and gets it. And they put the both the keys together and they pass through it. And, and then there was this like triangle water. The CGI passes through them. It looks fake. <laughs> you can definitely tell it's fake. And they're riding the ship and it just it, it just slows down the movie and it gets really boring here. And as this is going on, you know, you get the Turbo Power Rangers. I, I hate the soundtrack to the music, I'm sorry. The guy who directed and written this movie, Zilk Le Levy, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, Shoko Levy, Shoko Levy. Yeah, your soundtrack sucks. And the music score sucks. And the song Turbo Power Rangers, go, go, and I'm like, 
why couldn't they just, I don't know, why couldn't they just drive these over? These can drive a water, you can put you find out, by the way. Why couldn't they do that? Or why couldn't they turbo together to make a plane? Can't the doors do that? Can the doors maybe fly? Can they just band together like a ship and fly out of there? Wouldn't that be a little faster? But no, because we have to have character development for Justin. We have to have a scene with Justin Kevin talking about, you know, she tells me, she goes, my father, you know, was working, my mother died, and blah, blah, blah. And, and then, you know, she wants to do it just to kill the rangers by sending these creatures there. They beat the creatures up. Tom, you know, all apparently Justin is eight year old is a badass kid. Apparently she's out of the blue. He just kicks and beats up one of them. Tommy just shows up to one of them. Just and thing doesn't want to fight him. The creature, the other creature doesn't want to fight him. Tommy's like, Tom's like and the thing and he pushes it off. Yeah. yeah. But them riding on this ship, this boat, it just takes forever and ever. It really is the pacing is horrendous. But Kimberly, by the way, Kimberly and Justin finally escape through the man hatch, through the hatch. They say bulk. Even though she's like, well, what that with the water engine? Jason? Hmm? Well, yeah, but we got almost quarter mile elections, like maybe 35 hours, we got to just hold our breathing and breathing for air, we'll be fine. Bulk and Silver are still acting foolish. And like, God, shut up, you know, Jason says. They do up the water, the water comes in. Bulk and Skulk, maybe they should just kill them off anyway, but they don't. They saved them too, even though they couldn't open their hatch before. Like they should have. Maybe if you would have opened their hatch before, Kimberly and Jason, maybe, maybe the help could have been a little faster and you would have got out there quick before. Because they get out there, the water gets back, water fills up, bulk and scope goes, and Kimberly goes, her her shirt gets stuck on the nail, and Tom, you know, Jason gets her, but Divitas realizes it and she closes the hatch. And Jason also started the water, but she, you know, he goes to the surface, gets some air. She lifts the water down. He's like, well, at least he'll have more sacrifice. That's good enough. Kimberly gets captured by the natives later on. And so the bulk of what they try to run. Try to fool them. Doesn't work. She call, oh yeah, she calls Rita Repulsa, or the word, I forget the other the one's name. Rita Repulsa, you know, how do you defeat the Rangers? I'm not going to tell you that. You think I'd be that? Ah. And, I, and I'm not like Rita Repulsa, you know, she should have been the villain. Should have been her instead. This cigarette is the power torpedoes at it. Adam scurries on the head. I forget what reason to scout ahead to see where they're going. And... <laughs> they got Jason and a cook and a, you know, I don't know why, but for sacrifice they have to have him in a coat with a hat on, a hoodie on, which is kind of stupid, because it's like, we know it's him, you know, and Kimberly, they see her, Kimberly smiles, what you smile about, you've been captured again, you're going to get captured again, you're going to be sacrificed again, so what's the smile about, but they get captured again, the rangers get off the boat, you know, they get their cars, the zero and cut vehicles, get out of their job on the water. Yeah. But Divitas convinces the natives to worship her by using, you know, the Bible's with magic. Wizards of magic. Finally, they morph. Finally, for real, they morph. Morph. Oh, and by the way, when Justin morphs into his Blue Ranger self, he grows. You know, he like becomes a full-grown adult teenager. Yeah, he hit puberty really quick. And when he talks, his voice is just irritating. And they run real fast. You know, okay, I made that pretty cool. They run fast. Then Justin, you know, finds the layer. They go in the lair, she gets ready to do the sacrifice, she's got them tied up, and Power Rangers show up and they say, Detox, meet the Power Rangers. 
makes you wor worry your worst nightmare. But the Power Rangers get to escape by David Hux's forces, by her minions. They get their butts kicked, honestly. And eventually, Jason and Kimberly are thrown into the fire for the sacrifice, and they become evil. And that's laughable. Yeah. They become, you know, Miller's evil minions. You know, Kimberly says some weird dialogue. I'll admit there's some scenes where she makes a cute face, at least. You know, when she told Jason, you know, don't you think that'll be stupid to open up the hatch and make a cute face? And she's like, oh, you know, that was, that was funny, but it was also cute. And her being evil was just, like, weird. And saying that bad now, evil is as evil does. You know, go into the fire. Go into the fire, Jason. You know, he's got Tom down his throat. Because Tommy tries to take off his mask. His Power Rangers are a to convince her to, you know, that we're your friends, I'm your friend. And, you know, David Tuss is like, go in, go in, go in the fire. And, you know, he kicks Jason, but he helps Jason. And, because he's tired, Bud Osley and his wife decide, Wizard of Life, the Wizard and his wife, you know, use the imagine made them feel like, like, you could have done that before. Oh, he's tired. Well, what do you do? What? Get off your little tired, ugly ass and freaking use your magic to turn them good. Because Diva Tops is so stupid, she didn't realize, wait a minute, why am I bringing him? What? Maybe she should have just, if Diva Tops was a smart villainess, villain, she could have just, you know, got rid of him instead. But no, we had to have him alive because we had to save him and his family. But it's stupid for her to bring them there. She's, she can tell one of her minions, take them back to the ship. I don't want them turning the, them into good. But they don't think clearly in these movies, do they? <laughs> Diva talks, you know, she betrays Eagle, you know, and her pet. She's like, I need to get a new pet. And Maglero comes out. He begins throwing the ranger at well, First, she chose to. She's scared of him. She's like, I'm your mate. And she touches him. She gets ah, shocked. And the Power Rangers pull the swords. They said, Justin said, let's go, let's go to a store. So it was good thinking, Justin, not really, because they're useless. They get their asses kicked. It's not until, you know, Marvel and the monster comes out, turns into a huge monster. And then it's where they have to, you know, put their force together and they become this. It's a little bit of, you know, like a 10 second fight. They fight from a little bit. Then when they pull out the sword and the shield, all they do is, you know, cut them and metal force. You know, defeated just like that. So at least Ivan News had the threats. Was more that that fight went on for a bit longer, and they had taken space to defeat him. Yeah, Ivan News was more of a threat. And David Tosh is whining. I'm gonna get my revenge on the Rangers. You know. The volcano erupts. Bulk and Skull end up saying they, they return to Angel Grove. The Rangers are like, need a lift? So they pick him up. And at the end they go back to the tournament. Oh yeah, well in the end credits, you do see them, you know, Bulk and Skull, you know, mess with the machine. And, but they're in this machine and everybody says they're, they're saying goodbye to but ugly wizard and his wife, his family. I just go back, put them back on their planet. Then they go back to their planet Earth, go to the tournament. Jason's feeling of Rocky. They ultimately win the tournament, of course, they to charity, and they'll shout, and they pull Justin up. Justin, you know, Tommy picks him up over his shoulders, and he's got the trophy. Yeah! And later they see but the Rangers, the Power Rangers go to the Power Rangers, and you know, but I believe his family go home. And who cares? And that's the end of the Power Rangers movie. Yeah. Summing it up.
ya kan Sorry about that. Didn't know my brother was in the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, some of my opinion on Star Trek Power Rangers a movie. This movie sucks. This movie is garbage. I hated this film. I hate this movie. Okay, first of all, the story. The story sucks. I didn't like the story. Well, number one, the Power Rangers. You barely get the Power Rangers in the movie. And then they morph us in and it's time to the climax where you finally see them, you know, go Power Rangers fully. And the suits are lame, uh, the characters are lame. Okay, the critics saying that he plays the performance of the cast. Okay, the late Jason David Frank, he tries. And I do like Amy Joe Johnson. Austin St. John is his name, right? They try. But the film has a shitty script. You know, and the story's not good about Diva Talks wanting to release this monster, Beth Lauren, whatever his name is, so that she can become powerful, you know, take a call to the world or whatever. It's a stupid plot. You know, it just, you know, you don't get enough Power Rangers in this movie. You don't get enough good action scenes in the action. When it's there, it's lame. It's lame. The film, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a snore to get through, it's a sluggish thing to get through. You know, it's a slow ride. Yeah, you could see more of these cool cars, but they only use it to get to the ship and then get onto the land and drive it a little bit. That's it. So you really get nothing in the end for them to morph, morph into the, you know, the new bigger sword, you know, the Transformers that they become at the end of the movie. But it's like, it's boring. Okay, first of all, the writing and the, the directing, the writing and directing suck. David Winning, Chuck Levy, you did a terrible job directing. This film is ugly. The special effects are awful. For 19, they look terrible. The wizard and his wife, I forget the character's name, they look hideous. The makeup effects are so terrible. Who came up with these effects? They're awful. This is some of the worst, effect, the worst special effects I've ever seen on film in my life. The makeup effects look terrible. The special effects on, you know, the monster Megalorn looks terrible. Jason and Kimberly are just used as pawns to become evil, and that's stupid. So they're pretty much pointless in the movie. Why have them there in the first place if they're not really Power Rangers anymore? If they've done something different. The music score sucks. The running time, 99 minutes. Oh my gosh, the film. As soon as they get on that ship and David Thomas is on her submarine, it really slows the film down and makes the film very boring, and the whole film is boring to watch. Rocky is stupid for what he, what he did. Yeah, the cast. The rest of the cast is terrible. Uh, I hate Diva Dogs. She's a terrible one. I hate her voice. I can't freaking stand her. She just spends most of the movie saying go goofy, adding goofy over the top. And goofy dialogue. Ridiculous, stupid dialogue. I didn't care for Adam. I didn't care for Cap. For the Captain character. The Pink Ranger, the Yellow Ranger. Their acting was terrible. Her third accent is awful. Like I said, J Jason David Frank, Amy Joe Johnson, and Alfred St. John, they tried. But you can't make a good movie out of a backstory. And this one was just terrible. It's boring to sit through. The rest of the cast is terrible. The makeup effects is terrible. Special effects. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the story that sucks, too. Oh, well, that's the way with Power Rangers movie. Yeah, I know World of Nation, but I have a news. The thing is that they had better makeup and special effects. I have a new look great than special effects. Those special effects do look dated, but they look better than these effects. <laughs> yeah, I have a news is more of a threat. Yeah, I have fun with Paul Freeman. It looks like he was having fun. He's not, you know, making all those jokes for himself. But when he does, he's funny. At least I think. And his ooze is very threatening and menacing. Yeah. Diva talks, how is she threatening this? And she's just, ah, you, know, you know, screaming and yelling for the whole movie. That's all she does is scream, yell, be able to talk goofy, make jokes the entire movie, saying cheesy dialogue, which is stupid. And again, the whole film is boring. The whole thing with the show and my own show is boring as fuck. Yeah. I can't stand this movie. I hate this movie. I'm sorry, I hate this film. I'm not watching it for one. It's one of the worst superhero movies ever made in my opinion. Yeah. Definitely top five of my list. 
Yeah, this film was awful. So, Super Turbo Power Ranger movie, even the music score, the music sucks. You've only seen any Power Rangers in this movie, so it's not a good movie. What's so good about it? Please tell me. What's good about this movie? Please tell me in the comments down below if you think this film is a masterpiece. Why? Please tell me in the comments down below what do you think of this film. My rating for Turbo Power Ranger movie, you know what? I, I will give this Jason David Frank. He tries. And like I said, also say John Kimber, you know, Amy Jo Johnson, despite, you know, her cute faces throughout the movie. It's just not good enough. They, they try. There's only three characters that try. Bulk and Skulk are annoying and are more buffoons. So, yeah. And having a kid as a Power Ranger, just, Justin was terrible. Having him become an adult, that was stupid. He was to do, like, puberty and adult real quick, which didn't make any sense. Shouldn't the Power Rangers just be teenagers? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? You didn't say, oh, eight year old, what are supposed to be? Well, teenagers, but no. But. Because we have to have a kid be a, te a teenager because, well, you know, Power Rangers are aimed towards kids, but don't actually make a little kid an eight-year-old Power Ranger. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. But we've got to aim it toward children a little more. And that's what they do. They they make this movie aiming for a younger audience, and it's lame. <laughs> and I can see why like, this movie flopped, you know. It doesn't deserve to be in Blu-ray. deserves to be trashed. That's where it belongs and burned. But my rating for Silver Power Rangers movie, I'm sorry, despite them trying, I'm going to give this 0 out of 5 stars, and I'll weigh thumbs down. I hated, hated this movie. Gosh. Total Power Rangers movie, a thumbs down, way down. And my rating for this film, once again, is 0 out of 5 stars. I hate this movie. I got that right done. I needed to. On this line, in this line movie. All right. For the next ninety-seven movie, on next two ain't gonna be so good either. But oh well, gonna be both tomorrow. Yippee! I look forward to that. And tomorrow morning, I will be stay tuned. I hope I do three reviews more tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get these. Now I need to read guys. I just got Just counting. I think I have about seven movies left. Probably seven movies left. Yeah. But tomorrow next, I will be reviewing, probably ranting. Oh, there's a Bobby rant on this movie. Coming up next, and that is Spawn. Spawn. Is next. Spawn oh, starring Michael J. White is next. And Martin Sheen. And D.B. Sweeney. And John. Like, he was a mom. I can't say his name right. But Spawn, the 1997 movie. Superhero movie. Hell, Spawn. Spawn is next. It's his director, I guess. But Spawn, that's next. The next superhero review. So stay tuned for that, Spawn. Yeah. Starring Michael J. White. That'll be next. So stay tuned for Spawn tomorrow, guys. Hope you all enjoy my review slash epic rant on Trevor Power Rangers movie. Lane movie. So, in the comments down below, please, if you like this movie, please tell me why. We can agree to disagree. If you like the movie, if you grew up watching it, if you grew up watching the this version of Power Rangers, I did not. I didn't grow up with Power Rangers. I'm a casual fan of Power Rangers, but I hated this. <laughs> I think it's terrible. I still, you know, in the 2017 movie, I don't know if I'm going to feel about that. I haven't watched that movie no more. So, I did see that back in theaters, but I flopped too. And this thing, we didn't get no Power Ranger movies because of this. Not until the very end of 2017. And that movie flopped too, just like this did. Probably because they just shouldn't touch it no more. It's the only good Power Rangers movie, in my opinion, is the 1995 film. I'm not saying that's a great movie, but I can have fun with that. Hmm. Oh, by the way, the, blood, the best Blue Ranger was uh, Billy. You know, in my opinion, and even in the and even the twenty seventh re team remake, I'll say that right now. We would, I do like you know we got up like delay in that movie. He was better than Justin, this kid in this movie. Mm -hmm. All right, so stay tuned next for Spawn. That'll be next. So guys, hope you enjoyed my review of Spawn. Hope you enjoyed my reviews of a little more coming. I'm still I'm on vacation from work. So stay tuned for. For more 90s era review that was coming up. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good morning. Wherever you're at. Thanks for watching.
more from time out. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.